are you working harder and harder, but it feels like you're just falling further and further behind? As a service-based business owner, a service professional, if you will, or as I like to call you, a service pro, it's easy, unfortunately, it's easy to fall into the trap of running your business on hard mode. You see, many business owners, they do it without even realizing it. Now, the cost of running your business on hard mode, it could mean going out of business, could mean having your clients leave you, could even mean having your family leave you. Look, it's not like there's any achievements that you're unlocking by running your business on hard mode. So first, let's identify if you are running your business on hard mode. Are you working late or on the weekends just to keep up with your workload? Do you find yourself too busy in the implementation details of the service that you're providing to your clients so that you don't have any free time? You can't bring on other clients? Is your income stagnant even though you're working harder and harder? Are you missing opportunities to grow your business because you're too busy with the day-to-day? -day? Do you struggle to keep up with the demands of your clients? Are you stuck doing repetitive tasks that could be automated or delegated, but you don't know where to start? Do you feel like you're always reacting to problems instead of proactively growing your business? Do you feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume of questions and small decisions that you need to make every single day? Do you find it hard to step away even for a moment without things falling through the cracks? Do you find yourself unable to get all of your tasks done? Is the quality of your service slipping because you're stretched too thin? Do you struggle to take time off because everything falls apart or the money stops coming in if you step away? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this video could be a real game changer for you because there's simply three things that you need to do in order to reclaim your time and actually see your family again. First thing you need to do is raise your prices. I actually suggest doubling your prices. Now, if you can't double your prices, come up with a price that'll make you smile and then add 20% to it. Because thinking that you can't raise your prices is actually a mindset issue. It's not based in reality. And by raising your prices, it'll actually do a few things. First, it will probably get rid of a couple clients. That's okay. Here's the interesting thing. If you double your prices and you lose half your clients, you'll still be making the same amount of money, but you'll be working half the time that you were working. Then what you can do is focus on those 20% of your clients that you really like working with, the ones you can provide the best value for, the ones that actually do what you suggest, the ones that are easy to work with, and you find more clients like those. You actually have the bandwidth to specifically find clients like the ones that you're able to provide the most value for. You see, having lower prices actually hurts not just you right now, but actually hurts your client in the long run. Because what happens? You're on this treadmill, you're working very, very hard, but, but you're unable to actually serve your clients at a highest level because you're stretched too thin. You'll potentially burn out, go out of business, and then they have to go find somebody else to support them. So charge based off the value that you're providing. If you can give your clients $100,000 return, charge them $10,000. If you can give them $500,000 return, charge them $50,000. Don't charge based off of how long it takes you to do the task. By not charging enough, you're actually doing a disservice to your clients. And you're obviously doing a disservice to yourself and to your family because you're stretched too thin and you can't take the extra margin and put it back into your business. So in addition to charging more, you also need to set boundaries with your clients. So right now, if your clients can call you night or day, 24 seven, you need to change that. Especially you have clients that are actually doing that. If they're truly emergencies, let's say somebody has a website and if this e-commerce system that you built is going down and they're losing tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars every single you know, minute that it's down, then okay, you'll need some, something in place to handle that. But it still shouldn't be you, right? You don't wanna build yourself a job. And if you're running on hard mode here, you've done that, you've built yourself a job. So instead of building yourself a job, get out of that and build yourself a business.
actually have team members, have a support staff to take those calls. That way, if something does go wrong, they can handle it. That actually brings us to our next point, and that is you need to delegate, right? We just kind of talked about delegating, but you need to create processes, systems. So if there's services that you provide that can be systematized, do that. Make your life easier as you deliver what you're delivering. And maybe you need to offer something a little bit different. Currently, if it's taking too long for you to fulfill on what you're doing for your clients, then maybe you can think of other things you can provide that aren't as difficult, aren't as custom to provide for your clients, that you can still provide tons of value for them without requiring a huge amount of work on your end to actually fulfill it. And if that's not possible, then you definitely need to make sure you're charging enough in order to have a support staff to actually fulfill on what you're offering. Otherwise, you're always going to be tied down and trading your time for money. Now, I have an upcoming challenge. It's called the Work Smarter Challenge. It helps you get your business off of hard mode. Now, it does require some hard thinking, right? So that's the challenging part is there's things you have to think through here. But there's ways to take your service-based business and actually productize some of the items that you're currently fulfilling on. That's the real easy button. But if you enjoyed this video, chances are you'll really like that challenge. It's the Work Smarter Challenge. You can find a link to join in the description. And you'll be given even more insights in order to run your business on easy mode. And if you like this video, invite you to join me in the next video where you can get it all done. I'll see you in the next video.